Hello my lovelies, this is Simsfell and welcome to episode 25 of our daily niche series with the Monique tribe, where the tribe is getting ready slowly to move to the next island. We are starting to prepare and slowly but surely kind of creep towards one of the ports on the whale's nose that leads out of this place and we've been here for quite a while so I'm excited to get going but our population is at 8 so we still kind of need to get that a bit maintained, especially because We've got pretty much, yeah, we've got, I think when we leave, we said we'll have seven nichelings with us, including Serini, because everyone else is going to be, well, we'll have passed on by then, which is quite sad, and oh my god, did Ren just die? Did, what? No. Did, I, guys, guys, Ren, Ren, where's Ren? This is not Ren. No, oh, no, Ren is here. Oh, jeez. But Ren's gonna pass away. <laughs> oh, Ren. Ren's gonna pass away in the next turn. Pretty much, the Monique tribe as we knew them will go away. Or will have passed on on this island. I don't know how else to say that. But pretty much, the Monique tribe as we knew them with a lovely beige furred cat-faced, white-horned, pink-horned, spotted nichelings, they're going to pass away on this island, guys. And only Serena's children are going to leave the island and start a new life wherever they decide to do that. And the genetics of the tribe is going to be a bit different from now on because we don't have any of the originals staying with us. Which kind of breaks my heart because even though I wanted to branch out from that, I was really attached to the nichelings we had. So, yeah, so many memories on Whale Island. So many bones. Okay, so let's get some of the stuff we needed done. Bergeld was left. The children we don't need to do anything with. Bergeld is going to pick some of the fruits. Ah, oh, this, is, this is the last time, or well, the last few days, that he's going to be picking fruit from this tree. And it breaks my heart. It absolutely breaks my heart. Okay, has she, he, I mean he, dash, okay. Everyone else is fine. We don't need to move them around or anything. We've got a lot of food, so no need to panic over that. And oh, look at that. Seven nichelings. Ren passed away. Now Serini is carrying Ren's last child. So it's this, this is important, guys. This is very important. Oh, geez. And things are going by so much faster because we have barely any nichelings. Ah, okay. Tamini is going to collect her last nut. And her brother Bergeld. Uh, no, her cousin Bergeld actually is going to collect his last fruits, probably to give to the children, probably to pass on through Taemin to the children on the port, saying, okay, here you go, coconut, here you go, Bloquetta, and here you go, Idra. Here are some fruits for the journey. Gorge yourselves on them. You've got a lot of stores that your mother's going to be given so that she can haul with her. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh my goodness. I am so sad. So sad. Okay. Well, time to see what the last child of Serini is. Oh, thank goodness. It is, guys. Oh, we're only going to have six niche links to take on. I didn't realize. Whoa. Okay. But she had a beautiful cracker jawed baby girl, which is what we needed in case we come across a tree in the next island. Okay. And we unlocked a genetic. I don't know what we did. Maybe cracker jaw? Who knows? But okay, she's very special. G and B. G and B. G and B. Seems as though Coconut and Desh are the only ones who can breed for now, but that's fine. We can do that and then deal with just other niche links in the future. Like, we'll get more, so it doesn't matter. We'll probably invite some into our tribe because our numbers are really low. Okay, so Isla. Let's name her. We need to rename her. I'll name her something from the list you guys gave me. And I really, really actually like the name Minet. Minet. Also, thank you to everyone who left names in the last episode. I did add it to my list. So, thank you. We'll use it when I get up to it. Or when we, when I find the right nicheling, you know? I like I like naming the right nichelings, the names I feel fits. And Minet just really fits with this one. Okay. 
Well, there we go. Well, that's all the nichelings we have. Now we've got to wait for Monet and pretty much try and get to these ports. Shouldn't take too long. I don't think we need to go around gathering because I think we have enough food stores. Look at that, 518. The, the tribe has gathered enough food stores for us to move on and do quite a bit of movement without having to wait. And look at that, she left a child alone. In the next island, we'll have to make sure we don't do that. Otherwise, we are just going to kill all our children, okay? So, <laughs> this island kind of spoiled us, but we need to remember that from the next island onwards, we actually have to take very good care of the children. And, oh, well, oh, she grabbed some meat. Well, I kinda wanna, yeah, let's grab that. In the next turn, we'll hop onto the port. Okay, wonderful. Jump into the port, and Mene, let's get you into the port. Wonderful. And guys, everyone's leaving. Everyone is leaving for the next island. It's kind of freaking me out, but okay. Let's go ahead. Let's get, uh, let's get coconut, I think. Coconut, oh sorry, coconut. Coconut's gonna, uh, she's gonna touch the stone. She touched the stone. Okay, where are we going to go? Hmm. Well, easy, medium, hard, killer. And I mean, guys, like, come on. <laughs> come on, guys. I haven't even played that long. And I did ask you guys how long you thought we should keep the tribe going for. And one of you lovelies said 40 episodes was just about right. So I'm okay with that. We're at episode 25. I think we'll keep Monique's tribe going till 40 episodes. If you guys would like more or less, do let me know. Feel free to give suggestions at any point in any of the videos down in the comments below and I will see but um, 40 episodes for now is as it stands so after that 40 episode is done then I'll replace our daily niche with a new niche series which I have kind of brewing in my mind so I'm really excited about that anyways by that point hopefully I should know how this game works a little bit better because this Monique tribe is kind of me learning how to play niche because it is actually the first time playing niche so I feel like by the time I'll get to 40 episodes, I'll have enough knowledge to be able to, you know, do something. So there we go. Let's go over to, I think, the Peaceful Meadow. You know what? We'll go to the Peaceful Meadow. We started off in Tiny Green. We came to the Whale Island. We'll go to the Peaceful Meadow. I think we'll do that. Yeah. Not sure if they have birds and stuff there. Not entirely sure. But I feel as though it's a good place to get going. Okay, let's have a look at the island. Ooh, this is this is a cute island. I kind of like it. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so we've got ports. We've got peaceful ports, and we've got this grassy port and another port. Hmm. Well, we're not planning on leaving anytime soon. We just arrived, but look at that. Already, we have a berry bush. Wonderful, and we have a bunny burrow as well. Huh. Well, first things first, we actually need to find a nest. That's the most important thing we need to do. Food, we don't have to worry about, so everyone's just going to be aggressively finding a nest. So let's get Bluketta to clear this, clear this, clear this. We don't even have to worry, guys, about, I think. Let's get Sereni to jump in. I don't think we need to worry about food for now. We just need to go and find some nests. So Dash is going to dash this way. Oh, look at that! He found a nest! And I'm actually gonna get him to hop up here because if he gets hit with a coconut, that's not good for us. <laughs> oh, look, coconut! You have a nest right next to a coconut tree. This is perfect. It's like they knew. It's like they knew. Okay, so we're gonna get, when the next turn comes over, they've pretty much picked out this nest and they're very much compatible. So I think they're gonna be the Monique tribe's first breeder of this generation or first breeding pair of this generation since they're the only compatible ones as of yet and the first ones to find a nest of their own hmm and then if we have wanderers come into the tribe then we can see from then on how things go but okay so let's get Manet to jump this way Manet is gonna jump this way when I keep clear of these coconut trees because we don't want our nichelings to get stunned okay let's turn the day over and then we'll send the others out exploring, I think. That'd be a good idea. Look at that. Nice nut. Nice nut. And she can actually collect these nuts, but I don't want her to stay down there. So let's get Dash and Coconut. The fertility is not too bad, to be honest. Oh, look at that. They are a mated pair. Ah, how cute. Okay. Let's get him to clear some of the grasses around his mate. Keep this area neat and tidy. And Mende. Mm, I don't want to jump there because then she's going to... Hmm. 
she's gonna jump up here. She's gonna clear some grasses. She's gonna help out as well. Where's the tree? So there's, a, there's three trees. Okay, so we could kind of inch towards this trim here, which we might do with Minet. I think that's what we'll do with her. Okay, and Serini is gonna jump this way and help out with clearing some of the spots. And then we'll get a children to join her. Let's get up here. And then Buketa. Let's go, Buketa. Let's go. And he's gonna clear this grass for his brother. Wonderful. Wonderful. Everyone's moving nicely along. I'm pretty happy with how things are going. Now let's see what their first child is. <gasps> oh, what? That is so cool. I was expecting a yellow nicheling or a beige nicheling, but I was not expecting a striped nicheling. Oh, damn. I love this girl. She looks so cute. B and A. Hmm. Let's name her. I'll name her something from my list because my list has been sitting there for a while. I'm going to name her Alshea. Alshea. I think that's a cool name. Huh. Alshea. Kind of like, I don't know, it feels very oceany and beachy to me. So, I like this. I like this quite a lot. Welcome to the family, Alshea. And what we don't have to worry, I think, right now, it's the exploration age, guys. It is the exploration age. So, we're not really worrying like how we did back at the Whale Island that, oh, we have a niche thing, what's their food purpose? Like, what's their purpose in life? What, what food sources are they going to find? So I'm not too worried about that for now. Um, we might have some new establishments kind of develop themselves as we go because we have a lot of food sources, but I'm really happy. I'm really happy. We need to find a few more nests, and then once I'm comfortable with that, then I'll probably go on and find food sources. As long as we have one more nest maybe available for a breeding pair. Or maybe we'll constantly be in exploration mode until our food sources get a bit down. So we'll have to see about that. Let's go ahead and get Minet to clear these grasses. And I think she should jump ahead. Mm, yeah, she should jump ahead in my opinion. Because she's trying to inch towards that tree over there. So Coconut is going to jump this way. She's going to... Did that take? Nope. Okay. Maybe with Coconut. Coconut's going to help clear some of the grasses around the area. And then let's get... Let's get Idra. Clear some more grasses and hop on. Oh, look at that. They found a mole. I'll get Bloketa. Oh, damn it. The mole ran away. Okay. That's fine and well. Let's jump this way. Clear the grasses. Wonderful. Look, they're finding food along the way as well, which is important. And oh, look. We've already made it quite close to the tree. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay, let's pass the day over. Ah, Ashea. Ashea. Well, Asha, step this way, why don't you? Your mother is going to step into the nest and then probably try and crack these nuts. This is the first time I think they've seen a coconut in their lives, so it's going to be quite interesting what they decide to do with that. I think Mine, I think, would be able to crack that because she's got cracker jaw, but I don't want her going too close to the, the nest. She could crack and just hop back up. There you go, see? Look, she cracked it and she showed them how to crack. She's like, ah, oh, this is not too different from the nuts we used to get from the nut tree. Or from the, the nut tree. I mean, she's never cracked a nut. She was a baby when they shoved her onto the port. But anyways, well, let's get Dash to continue clearing away some of these spots. Wonderful. He's going to jump up on this bunny bird. Oh, there's a lot of mole holes here, which I didn't realize beforehand. Oh, oh, what the heck? This is a beautiful new nicheling. Hello there, lovely. Look at her. She looks gorgeous. I'm invited into the tribe. Yes, thank you. We need to rename you. She's got a little bit of life left on her. We need to rename this lovely lady. I'm going to name her something from the list you guys have given me. I really like this name a lot. Yavari. Yavari. I think that's a cool name. Yavari. So welcome to the family, Yavari. She's got a bit of life left on her. If she can find a nest... See, normally within the tribe, I only like having one... Um, mating pair but i feel as though if we come across a wanderer and we find a nest and a compatible mate they should you know be allowed to go ahead and have a child but we'll have to see how that works hmm well yavari welcome to the family welcome to the family okay let's get her to jump this way and look at that they found a nest well isn't that interesting and she can crack nuts oh my gosh look at how abundant this place is you've got a nest you've got a nut tree Goodness gracious, I don't even know what to think. Goodness gracious, look at that. That's absolutely amazing. Okay, let's see what child Coconut has next. Oh, 
it's it's another baby girl that looks very much like coconut except she has antlers where are these antlers coming from i don't know but it's cool it's cool let's go ahead and name her i'll name her something from my list i will name her corelia corelia that's a cool name corelia welcome to the family Alshea and corelia okay she kind of reminds me like it sounds like corelia from star wars but no corelia okay now let's get some more things going who the hell died? Oh, Sereni was old? I didn't even realize Sereni was that old. Well, whoopsies, but look at this, guys. The tribe is establishing themselves in these new islands. Already they look a bit different than what they used to. But this is a good sign that we're finding wanderers. A very good sign. Obviously, Yervari hasn't claimed this nest because only a couple can claim the nest. So if you're not a couple, it won't work. But that's fine. Okay. Let's get Coconut jumping over here again. And then we'll get her, hmm, maybe to jump here. She can clear the grasses and jump back into the nest. Wonderful. And then we'll get, Dash is right up here next to these spots. So let's get him to clear some of this. Mine, Mine, you were supposed to come next to this tree. She's gonna collect some of that up. And then Bloketta can clear some of the grasses here. Wonderful, wonderful. I think you should, they should clear the area around this tree. And then Idra, who's gonna do the same, is gonna uncover this wonderful lady. And is everyone done? Yes, I think that, oh no. We got Alshea left. Alshea, where should you go? I feel as though Alshea would explore down here. Yes, I think she'd explore down here. She'd be very intrigued by the beaches and stuff. So she'd go down that way. Wonderful, let's turn the day over. Hmm. Okay, population is holding, that's fine, but eight. Now that we have a steady breeding pair and all of those wonderful things, we'll start getting more niche things, but I don't know, as much as I like Yvari, I'm kind of, like, I don't want to go ahead and start having a billion breeding pairs, because when we had just two in the last tribe with three nests, like, that population got out of control really quickly. And then when everyone passed away, they passed away super quickly because we had to wait before we bred again. So I think I always want to keep one pair, but we'll we'll try and prioritize one bird when we find them. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Or maybe when someone takes on a nest, they'll probably look for wanderers before they look for mates in the tribe. I don't know. We'll see how that works out. But we'll we'll leave it at this for now. Okay, Corelia, Corelia, step this way, please. And let your mother oh. Let's clear some of the grasses and then step into this nest. Wonderful. Let's get our Shea to clear the grasses over here. Should be excited to go exploring. I think Desh is kind of the patriarch of the family right now. It's Desh and Coconut. Coconut's the matriarch. She's very much respected because she's the only one who's having children right now. And look at that. Already. <laughs> Incest yet again. But... It's not as bad as the last tribe because it's the first generation onwards. It seems to be a cultural thing, guys, at this point. Like, I don't even know how to stop it. It's a cultural thing. Okay, let's go ahead and clear the grasses here. Clear the grasses here. Hmm. Seems like there's a lot of regrowable grass in this area, which is a little bit frustrating to me, but that should be okay. That should be okay. Jump over there. Okay, let's get you to hop this way. Clear the grasses here, clear the grasses there. Wonderful, lovely. I think Idra, sorry, Idra. bluquetta has got like wider hair. Okay, so Idra, I think, is gonna come this way and try and clear the grasses in this area. Hmm. They're kind of sticking out the territory. In a place like this, the more grasses you clear, so the cleared spots, that's kind of your territory and everything else is just wild and wilderness. So I think the Manique tribe, um, trying to expand. I think Idra and Bluquetta, these two brothers, would be very much focused. I don't know if everyone else realizes, but maybe a little bit because they're clearing this spot, but I feel like the whole exploration and territorial side of things would be driven by Bluketa and Idra. They very much would be adamant that, oh, we need more territory. We need to clear these grasses so we can stake our land in this new place. So I think that's what they would be going through. Whereas Yavari and Mine are more focused on, oh, this is a beautiful tree, let's tend to this tree spot. It's not clearing away, but solely for the purpose of clearing out this little lovely tree spot. And I think Mine... Mine, obviously, I mean, what am I talking about? Coconut is focused on breeding solely. 
Her daughters are going out exploring, probably for more territory. I think rather than territory, they're more just exploring for the sake of adventure because everything is just so exciting to them and they're very fascinated by the shoreline. And Dash, I think, is kind of on a similar sort of level with Bluketta and Idra, but I don't think he'd be doing that on his own. I think he would be, um, yeah, I think he's being prompted. He would be prompted by Bluketta and Idra to, you know, we're doing this on this side of the island, but you have to do the same for your family. You need to extend the, the edges of our territory. But anyways, guys, that was a fun episode. I think I'm going to go ahead and end this here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in my next episode. Bye-bye.